Hello everyone and welcome to another lesson. I'm very happy to have you here with me today. Uh, today we're gonna inspect three nodes. Uh, th these three nodes are small, so just pack them up in one video. We're gonna inspect the uh, uh, remove duplicates. We're gonna inspect the limit and the summarize node. Uh, these are very also beneficial for you to use inside of your workflow. Uh, before I start, I also want to point your attention to my store. Here you will find all of my uh, workflows. You can download them, you can sell them, you can incorporate them, you can do whatever you want with them. They are at a discounted price right now. You can also check out my N8, N8N for beginners course. If you're moving from Make, this will be a great start. And if also you want a refresher or you're starting, starting out, this would be a great way. So I'll include the link in the description below. Without further ado, let's start. Uh, I'm gonna click create workflow <clears throat> and then I'm gonna start with a trigger. I'm gonna choose a manual trigger. Uh, this means it only gets triggered with the test button and can, it cannot be activated. Let's start with getting our sheet. So we're gonna get rows uh, and we're gonna go ahead and copy the contacts sheet that I have here. It's just basically a list of uh, name, email, and fake numbers so that people don't call these people. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to put the ID here and then I'm going to select the sheet. So I'm going to test and I'm going to get all of my table here that I see here and now it's here. I have a, uh, I go through Google Sheets in depth in my course. Uh, so if you want to know more about that, you can check that out. So let's start with the limit. So as, as it says, uh, it limits the number of items. So if I test with the basic set settings, I'm gonna get only Jack. So Jack is the first one. So we're now uh, saying I only want one row and I only want the first item. So if I say last item and I do test and then I'm gonna uh, get this, uh, this last one, okay? So what if I say I want two, then it gets me two two and three, and if I say last items, you're gonna get, it, get me seven and eight. Pretty basic and pretty simple. I use this limit whenever I want, whatever I'm testing, and there's like a hundred or a thousand row, and I only wanna test with one. If it works with one, it will work for everyone, for, for all the rows. So this is a great way, the limit one, is to use whenever you, you want to test, or wh whenever you want to uh, pick one, uh, from all of these or whenever uh, like you're, you're, you're getting incoming data and you only want to uh, check out one, one of those. So the limit is a great way to do that. So the next one I'm going to cover is the remove duplicates. So for that, I want to get a couple of ones here. So let me see. So I'm going to get contacts three and contacts too. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put a, uh, so I'm gonna duplicate this. So this is contacts one. So since we now have several, so I'm gonna name this contacts one. And then I'm gonna duplicate this and I'm gonna get the contacts three now. Okay, and the contacts three ID is here. So I'm gonna put it inside of here and then I'm gonna choose the sheet. All right, so I'm gonna get the data, I'm gonna pin it so I don't, I don't have to do it each time. Also get the data and, okay, what's wrong? There you go, pin it. There you go. So now I have data coming in from each one of those. What I want is to merge these, right? Because I have now two streams and I want to merge them. I went over the merge one in another lesson on YouTube. Check that out. So I'm going to append them and I only have two. So now if I test the workflow, so now I have 14 items. But, but as you can see, there are duplicates in those items. And what if I want to remove all those duplicates? There you go. So we have the remove duplicates node. 
the hero comes in uh, so I put this and I say okay remove items repeated with within the current uh, from incoming items uh, okay so if I say test and there you go you see now I have only 9 out of 14 so this node took care of okay it went and it saw uh, it compared all the fields now we can compare all fields or if you want to compare selected fields like you can say only compare the name only the ones that have duplicate names okay uh, check that out so uh, this is a great way to uh, to remove duplicates okay I use this quite often whenever I'm using the merge or I'm having a, a stream of data that is coming in and I don't know uh, this stream of data if it has duplicates if it's not so I run it through this remove duplicates just in case for me to just clean cleanse everything and have a a, a, um, a list of items that don't don't have duplicates okay as, as I said you can uh, you can filter by specific fields or you can filter by you can compare by all fields okay now let's uh, I want to I will duplicate this and connect it to here okay so let's go over the summarize okay so the summarize is a great way the way i use it mostly is to count uh, because as you can see here now we have seven items coming out of this but i don't have access to that number like if i go here i don't i can't know what, how many rows do i have and the summarize has this count that does this in a great way right so i can put the uh, field here and then I test there you go it gives me it gives me a variable that I can use later inside of the workflow that has the number of rows that I have now I can check how many rows uh, I can check uh, uh, I, can, I can I can use this anywhere in my uh, workflow after that so I use that quite often now the summarize has a lot of other things so it has append uh, there you go so it appended all the names together and it puts them in one array right uh, it has average if you're dealing with number it has average uh, it has uh, count uh, count unique uh, so if, if we had duplicates this would count the unique one min and max and so let, if we say like for example max and we grab the pro number and we say test it, it gives us the maximum row number which is eight uh, and if we want the minimum it would do that now if you want also the sum and test it just adds all the numbers of the rows but it, it's not it's not valuable here because we're adding door numbers but if you had specific numbers that you want to add uh, together like sum them up this would be a good way so uh, these are very the summarize node I use quite often and I use it also like to count to to summarize to append uh, whenever is needed okay so the three ones the limit uh, and the, the remove duplicates and the summarize are quite a useful node inside of your workflow that in certain situations that you find yourself limited with the with the nodes with the bigger nodes that you use and you might want to use okay how these come in these come very 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 handy in some workflows like the limit one when you have a large stream of data coming in and uh, you just want okay I just want to pick one and work on that because I don't need the rest so uh, so the limit one comes in as a, a as a savior in that and you can you can choose one from the top from the bottom whatever you want the remove duplicates very very helpful uh, to remove all the uh, duplicates rows that that is coming uh, and also the summarize which is a multi right it's a multi uh, functional uh, node that uh, it, it counts how many items that uh, there are 
it uh, it it gives you the sum if you if you if you have numbers it gives you the average the minimum uh, it appends things and put them in one array if you guys if if you, if you want to use that so it's very very useful uh, so uh, these are the three nodes that I wanted to cover in today's uh, video I hope you start using them in your uh, workflow they're beneficial to you if you did like this lesson give it a like subscribe below for more videos and do not forget to check out the link in the description below thank you for watching and i'm gonna see you in the next video